friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we'll share uh, 10 uh, software features on the color os on the realme x which you should be trying out on your device so the realme x comes with the color os 6.0 and you know that the color os is now modified and it comes with a new ui a uh, new interface it has an app drawer and it also has a modified uh, quick toggles panel so there are lots of things uh, uh, to customize and uh, get a uh, lot of features as well but then uh, here we will uh, uh, talk about 10 uh, best 10 features you should be trying out on this device so first is the gaming center so if you're a person who loves to uh, game on your smartphone there is a dedicated gaming center available there. it's actually called gaming space so we'll just open the gaming space and here you can see that you can add uh, multiple games to the gaming space right now we have the asphalt 9 and pubg mobile added and you can also see that there is battery uh, life and also signal strength included so in the gaming uh, mode uh, you can just see there is a balanced mode here so here you can see that uh, competitive mode is there low power consumption mode is there so lowers the gaming quality but you can game for longer time but if you go to the balance it's more of a balanced performance competitive mode improved performance and frame rate responsiveness but power consumption is higher so this is again uh, really important for games like pubg so if you want to uh, experience the best performance go for the competitive mode on the realme x coming up you can see network optimization is a smart dual uh, channel network is there optimizes the wi-fi network latency uh, through 4g so you don't uh, have any break uh, uh, or uh, issues while uh, gaming uh, on the network then uh, there is brightness lock uh, that means uh, disable automatic brightness during uh, gaming so when you're gaming uh, you might uh, end up with uh, brightness getting uh, going up and down that you can also uh, block with uh, the brightness lock then there is uh, smoothness optimization network protection reduced uh, network latency and easy answer that means uh, if you are uh, uh, prompted with any notifications for uh, video calls you can answer it uh, easily so these are some things which uh, you can uh, actually do with uh, the gaming space uh, included on the realme x so if you're a person who loves to uh, do a lot of gaming then uh, the gaming space is definitely one of those really useful options now if you're a person who loves to listen to a lot of songs and multimedia on this device there is a dolby atmos support on this device so dolby atmos as we know uh, improves the sound uh, quality so if, so if you go to the sound and vibration you can just scroll down and you can see there is an option called a dolby atmos so select this option and you can see that once you have enabled dolby atmos you have the four different options smart mode uh, there is also movie mode if you're watching movie uh, you get the movie mode then gaming you get uh, the gaming kind of performance so with a uh, stunning bass performance then uh, music mode is also there uh, this is more of a balanced performance so these are uh, modes available in the dolby atmos so if you're a person who loves listening to songs uh, make sure you turn on the dolby atmos on the realme x now there is another option to customize the navigation button so if you go to the convenience and aid uh, you can see that navigation keys are included so this is the basic navigation keys left side we have uh, the multitasking or recent key uh, center is the home button and on the right we have the back button so you can actually configure that uh, you can interchange the buttons and you can just have one button and back button and uh, similarly uh, the button on the left side and the right side so that can be configured you can also go with a uh, swipe just so you can see that these are the swipe gestures swipe gestures from both sides that is also included here so basically you can customize how you want uh, uh, the uh, virtual keys or navigation keys to happen so that can be customized from here now third option is the gesture and motion so gestures are supported on this device so there are lots of gestures included there is three finger screenshot so you can just swipe uh, down with three fingers to take quickly screenshot we'll just show you that so there is the uh, three finger screenshot then a screen of gestures are supported so double tap to turn on the screen uh, draw uh, certain letters uh, to control uh, uh, different uh, options so screen of gestures there are multiple of them so you can basically customize these uh, gestures uh, and get the better out of your device uh, with the screen of gestures so these are the gestures and motion available uh, in the realme x now next is the app encryption so uh, if you have uh, uh, some apps which you don't want others to actually access say for example if you're giving uh, the food temporarily to somebody else uh, you don't want them to uh, open these apps so for example whatsapp facebook your personal apps like emails also if you don't want them to open you can go to the security and uh, enable uh, app encryption so app encryptions once this is enabled uh, you can protect your app so you need to enter your password uh, here so we'll just uh, enter the default password we have 
so that's the password now you can see that uh, uh, select apps to be encrypted so uh, uh, you can see that I just enabled uh, the photos app and uh, we'll just encrypt this so all the installed apps are available for encryption so I've just selected photos app now you can use fingerprint and face recognition to open encrypted apps that means uh, uh, once that uh, is protected you can either use the face unlock or you can enter the password or uh, you can use fingerprint so you will just uh, use this uh, protected the gallery app so we'll just open this so you can see here photos is encrypted as soon as I bring the face here you can see that now it unlocks uh, and you can access the uh, photos app so similarly if you open it again uh, you can see that uh, you can also use the fingerprint uh, to unlock it so these are the options uh, if you want app encryption now if you, you if you give your uh, smartphone to kids quite often then uh, uh, there are chances that they might mess up your uh, apps or settings uh, so in order to uh, prevent that uh, there is an uh, option called kid space so what it does is basically uh, we have uh, we are creating an area where only kids can use and rather uh, they don't have access to other apps uh, in the device for example uh, your emails or your personal files they don't have access to that and you can set the duration uh, allowed each time and apps uh, you can uh, set you can see here there is the option to select the apps which you want to access and uh, say for example they want access to certain games you can enable that and you can also turn off the cellular data they, that means uh, they won't go beyond uh, uh, using the default apps and they won't access the internet so do, you won't be charged for your data so those things can be done using this kid space so you can enable the kid space uh, if you are giving it to your kids now another useful option is a private safe so private safe is quite similar to the uh, the uh, app encryption where you have protected area you can actually store your photos audios uh, documents and other files in the private safe here again uh, private safe is accessed uh, using uh, the fingerprint or uh, uh, the face unlock so you can see that now i have accessed using the uh, 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 fingerprint scanner you can also use it uh, with the face unlock we'll just uh, show you once again so you can see that now we have used uh, face unlock so you can set the password and you can use uh, this private safe and you can transfer all your personal uh, files uh, which you don't want others to access to the private safe and that will be secured uh, and unless you enter your password or face unlock or the fingerprint you cannot access them so that's another useful feature uh, in the uh, realme x now if you want uh, multiple instances of same app or rather two instances for example if you are using the phone with uh, two uh, whatsapp accounts or two facebook accounts you can actually do with a uh, uh, clone apps feature so clone apps is basically you can create another instance of the same app that means uh, some search, uh, certain uh, social networking apps are available say for example facebook instagram whatsapp and a few other apps uh, uh, are available so when uh, these are uh, these apps are available you can just clone them so th there you go you can just go here enable app cloning and now you can see that another uh, uh, facebook icon will be created here uh, with this is the facebook icon with this this is the second instance uh, instance of the facebook uh, the first instance is here so there are two instances and uh, you can access um, uh, two accounts in these um, options now another option is uh, the app split screen so in any app uh, you can go here and uh, split the screen into two or multiple options so you can just swipe uh, with three fingers and use the multiple uh, i mean uh, the split screen mode so what it does is you can multitask with uh, two apps say for example if you are working on something and you want to search you can just use a uh, split screen so just uh, swipe from here and you can see that now app split screen is in action and uh, say for example if i run amazon here the top portion is a setting so this this is the pretty useful option uh, if you want to run app split screen so that's the app split screen on uh, uh, the realme x now another option to uh, customize the realme x is the quick toggles so if you just uh, pull down uh, from the notification toggle you can see there are lots of icons available so what you can do is uh, these toggles are pretty useful because uh, they are larger in size you can easily access them so if you want to have multiple uh, icons here what you can do is just rearrange them so these are the icons available there are uh, 16 of them then uh, you can also uh, drag and rearrange certain other apps or uh, other icons say for example if you want a uh, dolby atmos kid space and uh, all those things available so you can just drag and uh, rearrange them so we'll just uh, show you that option once again so here you go you can just drag and rearrange them and uh, only 16 are allowed in the uh, 
um, I mean uh, the cube toggle so if you want a particular icon to appear uh, the any one of them would be removed from that area and uh, this will be available once you're done uh, you can just click the done button and this is available so these are some uh, useful features uh, you should be trying out on the realme x with the color OA. so these features are really useful and this is available uh, in the realme x so these are the 10 uh, best features of the color OS. and if you have the realme x do try out and get the better out of your device so that's it for this video this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day